Hi everybody, I'm Angela's Franza. I am the Love Coach of Rochester on this beautiful Saturday night. I hope everyone's doing good. I hope everyone's being safe. So tonight, look, your girl is ready. She brought her book tonight. We are gonna talk about it. Must be 18 years of age because I don't give a fuck about your feelings, okay? Don't call me up, don't text me up, talking shit. That phone number is to help everybody and to fix love because I love love and I want to see you happy. So excuse my nails tonight. They're kind of messy, but it don't matter. So let's get into it tonight. Rochester and all over the world. I hope everyone is doing good. At the end of the show, you can always reach me at 585-296-1334. That's just a regular number you can reach me at day or night. No question is silly. Everything is always confidential and I want to see you happy. So we are going to talk about it tonight. We are talking about ways to get your ex back. I'm going to tell you the first way how to get your ex back. The first way is do not contact your ex for 30 to 90 days. And the reason why I say 30 to 90 days is because it takes a month for your ex to realize the pain and suffering that they put you through, the pain and suffering that you're going through. Do not contact them. It's going to take you everything in your power. And I am here for you. You can always text me, call me. Um, there's so many things you can do without talking and reaching out to your ex. They are not your whole life. Your ex is watching this. Your ex sees this, that you are spending all your time, your whole life on them. You're not doing nothing nice for yourself. You're not hanging out with any friends or family. You ain't doing shit. That's why your ex don't fucking want your ass. 30 to 90 days, do the no contact. I know a lot of people talk shit about it, but let me tell you something, it works. I know I have done it before in my life and it was even done to me. I've been there, I've done that. I only give you 100 positive advice and it will work. So start it. Do not reach out to your ex, do not call them, do not text them, let them miss you. Let them miss what they lost. Um, there's nothing wrong with sending a goodbye text if you want to know how to do that properly to get your ex to chase you after the 30 days you hit me up after the show 585-296-1334 and I will show you and tell you how and what to type to your ex I will send you that information okay so number two be the most attractive you can be. When your ex left you, he was not attracted to you. She was not attracted to you. This works for men, women, if you're gay, straight. It doesn't matter. Married. It does not matter. This works for everybody. If you're having trouble, rewind it and just add a man or a woman into it. And I'm sure that if you're watching my show tonight, you must be going through it. So let's get back into it. Rochester all over the world. It is your girl, your one and only Angela Speranza. So I'm just so happy to talk to you all because when I got this message to do this video, you know, I was excited. You know, I couldn't wait. I wanted to do it right then and there. But, you know, got to get myself together a little bit before I go on camera. So like fix your hair if you're a woman. Go on a diet. Exercise. Eat right. Um hang out with friends, go shopping, make yourself look attractive. I don't care what any man tells you. A man does not want to see his woman in sweatpants, a uh, uh, sloppy ponytail, no makeup. That is fucking disgusting. Would you date yourself? That's why your man left. If you are a man and you are going through this, um, start exercising, cut your hair, um, if you have long hair, cut it. If you have short hair, grow it out. Shave your face. No woman wants to kiss a hairy ass beard. Do you want to fucking kiss a hairy ass beard? Like, come on. Um, there's more fish in the sea, my viewers. Number three. Let your ex wonder let your ex miss you. Do not stay in contact with his friends or his family because your ex is watching and they are listening. And 
If you are in contact with your ex's family and friends, he knows everything about you and what you're doing. There's no mystery. There's nothing for him to miss. There's nothing for him to chase. There's nothing for him to chase. This also works for women. Remember what I said. Flip it around. Number three, send. Okay, now let me explain. You can send a sexy text to your ex after the 30 days um, because now in those 30 days you have bettered yourself and you are ready for that phone call and that text message for your ex to respond back to you because they're going to respond back to you. Um, just make sure that you don't look the same. Make sure that you're not acting the same because you're, your ex left for a reason. A person just doesn't get up and dump someone. They just don't get up and cheat. There's reasons and you're just not attractive to them. That's basically what it is. When an ex cheats on you and leaves you, you're not attractive in their eyes. And there's playful text messages that you can send, like um, flirtatious ones, um, just to get their attention. Nothing like sexual that talks about you and them having sex. Just like cute things that you know they would like that would make them smile. That's it. Let's see, number four. Now, when you wanna send a goodbye message to your ex, now, this is before you start the 30 days and this will make your ex want you. You can say, I wish you the best of luck. I hope you find what you're looking for. I wish you the best of happiness and bye. Now that's after the 30 days or before the 30 days. It doesn't really matter. I would do it before the 30 days if I were you because it gives your ex time to read it and think about it because before they close their eyes at night, that's the last text message that they are going to think about and read. Okay. Number five, stop saying yes to your ex. Stop picking up their calls every time it rings. Stop run into their message every one minute, two minutes, three minutes, whatever. Make them hustle for you. Make them deserve you. You are the prize. Remember that. It is okay to say no to your ex. They actually like that. When you reward your ex when they know they don't deserve it, they're going to dog you. They are dogging you. Stop saying yes. They don't fucking deserve it. Let them fucking be a hoe. They're an ex. Let them stay out there. I'm telling you the ways to get your ex back. And if you follow all these, they will work. Number six. Stop giving your ex all of your attention. Where's your attention? Where's your affection? Where's your love? The fuck you so worried about your ex for? They're not fucking worried about your feelings right now, tonight. No, they're fucking not. They're with, uh, if it's a guy, he's with Samantha. If it's a girl, um, she's with George. Those are just examples. Stop. Number seven. No communication with your ex at all. If you send that goodbye text or you go the whole 30 days, that's going to be the toughest 30 days of your entire life that you go through. Um, I know how you feel. I know what it feels like to have your heart broken. I know what it feels like to be cheated on. I know what it feels like to have your heart fucking ripped out and stomped on and the person you love just walk out the door. I've been there. Like, I know how you feel. That's why I can answer these. That's why I can give you the correct things, what to do and the tools and how to handle it from this day forth. Let your ex wonder about you. Let them wonder, like, what's she doing? What's he doing? You know, let them miss you for once. Number eight. Okay. If it's your ex's birthday and they broke up with you the week before, the month before, the week after, 
do not say happy birthday. You don't owe that motherfucker nothing. The fuck you look like happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday, dumper. Thanks for dumping me. Enjoy your birthday with whoever you're with. Do not wish them a happy Thanksgiving. The fuck you doing that for? Do not wish them... They're not sharing it with you. Do not wish them a Merry Christmas. If you still haven't had any contact with your ex and you've watched this video and it is past the holiday and it is on the way to Christmas, do not fucking reach out. No contact is working if you followed the way I told you to do it. It's hard to listen to all of this stuff and it's hard to follow it, but if you're having trouble, that's why I'm here. I do this all for you. You all are so important to me. Without my viewers, I wouldn't have a job. This helps me and help you. You guys asking me these questions are the best, let me tell you, because you know I'm gonna give it to you real and I'm gonna give it to you straight if you like it or not. Oh, well, that's it. And to the weirdos that are texting in that always got something to say, just stop. Give it up. Nobody cares. Okay. And if your ex, this is number nine, if your ex sees you living your best life, don't you think they're going to want that? Don't you think they're going to want that back? I know I would. Um, if I see my ex looking good from head to toe, in shape, taking care of themselves, having a, a good job, and everything else going for them, they're following their dreams and their goals that you guys talked about together, I'm going to give that person a chance. That's something for your ex to think about, and that's something for you to think about. I am Angela Speranza. I am the Love Coach of Rochester. It was a quick one tonight, but I just wanted to get these out to let you know that there are ways and there's more ways. If this is written to me again, I have no problem telling you 10 more ways on how to get your ex back to you, chasing you as a matter of fact. Have a good night and be safe.